Hello, what's happening to YouTube? It's Jake, it's here again. And tonight it will be the last video of the night. If I post, if I remember to post it tonight, I'll probably upload it. I'll probably post it tomorrow. So, if I end up posting this tomorrow, this will be the first video of Saturday. So the first video I'll upload on Saturday, but the last video I make on Friday. So this is the so this is episode six of Card Fight Vanguard. So this is the sixth review for Card Fight Vanguard V. Yes, I call it V. Just deal with it, because it is based on the manga. So, in this episode, we learned that a few things have changed. A lot of things have changed, actually. Like, say, for one thing, the name of the card shop where you where Kamui used to go to it is no longer Card Shop Handsome, it's now Card Shop Voyage. And Leon is, well, I, who in the original series was 16. Possibly even 18 years old is now 12. I guess that's how old he was in the in the manga. I have no idea. He's the age of circuit champion. He battled Kamui. He won, of course. Kamui lost, which I just feel bad for Kamui. Um, but let me think. My general thoughts on the episode, it was good, it was good. We got to to Leon. And I'm sure it's all you know. Next week's episode is Team Q4 or Unite Q4 Quadrifolio. And of course, in this episode, we meet Nagisa and Goki. Also, Kote. Or, um, Kenji. But yeah, I thought it was a pretty good episode. Episode um, the card fighting was awesome, and I was really glad they didn't change for the series. For V, is it will always be Moikawa's love for Corin. In case you guys don't know who she is. Corin is a blonde-haired, sexy girl. Corin, Corin is a blonde, is a sexy blonde in Card Fight Vanguard, who is a member of the pop idol group Ultra Rare. And Ultra Rare is a pop idol group made up of three girls: Corin, Rekka, Rekka, and Suiko. So again, it's weird to me. To me, that's weird. Very, very weird.
that four guys like three different girls. Two of them look the same girl, and two of them don't. But, you know, it's a good episode. Um, Kamui pretty much does not want to go to Voyage. Aichi wants to go to Voyage. And so does Emmy. So, of course, what Emmy asks, he folds right away. And he takes them to Voyage. Which I thought was, so, I thought was handsome in, in the manga. Which I read the manga. So yeah, this is a, this is a new series for me that I'm. This is a brand new series for me that I know nothing about because I have not because I have not read the manga at all. But this could be fun. This could be really really fun. <sighs> <sighs> I'm very tired. Um. Yeah, like I said, guys, I was gonna. Even, yeah, like I said, before, guys, I was gonna get my um, Jurassic World video today. Tonight, I should be able to get that out tomorrow. <laughs> after I get out of work at two thirty. Means once I'm finished with Dress World, the reviews the reviews going to be posted, and then I will be on the last trans the last Michael Bay directed Transformers film. The last night. But you know what? I you know them? But anyway, um... So... Naisa, who I just think is still... Who I think is really annoying. She was annoying in the original series. She's still annoying now. Um, I think she was annoying before. Um... For those of you who have seen the Japanese, let, let me know. It shows in like, uh, actually, no, quite, no. Those of you who have seen Legion Mate re recently, could you remind me, is Nisa in that season at all? If she is, let me know in the comment section below. And I will thank you for it. Because if she was in in Legion Mate, season four of the original series, she is so annoying in that season. Dr. Japanese voice actor is is annoying. And again, I'm not trying to neck I mean, I'm not trying to hate on anyone. Um, yeah. So, let 
this is really for tonight. Um, like, like I said, guys, I might post this. I might upload this in the morning. I might upload this tonight. I'm not sure. But you know what? But you know, I'm tired, so I'll probably won't upload this. So probably when you upload this tonight. I want to just wait until tomorrow to upload it. Because, again, I'm really, really fucking tired. So guys, I'm just reorganizing my Link Monsters. Right now? Huh. That's pretty cool. I like this formation. Not... I'll probably reorganize it again later. But, anyways guys, um... Hope you enjoyed the video. For those of you who are new to my channel, or wonder what I did. Let me break it down for you. Tuesdays. Gundam Will Divers, High School DXD. Wednesdays, Yu Gi Oh! Brains. Fridays, there's uh, Thursdays or Mondays or Saturdays or Sundays. Fridays, Future Crow Body Fight Ace. And Carver Vanguard V. And also, it, sometimes in between, I'll do rent, I'll do pack. Sometimes in between, I'll do openings on, on Vanguard guards. We haven't really done any booster box openings yet. I've done pack openings of Yu-Gi-Oh! I've done deck openings of Yu-Gi-Oh! I've done a lot of openings on my channel. And as always, guys, make sure to like this video, make sure to comment on this video, make sure to sub make sure to share this video with your friends, make sure to subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell to be notified of future videos, and also follow me on Twitter, at DanKuso9, that's D-A-N-K-U-S-O-E-N-D-I-V-E, DanKuso9, same, same number, stand up, Vanguard, peace.